Wait, can you recall? All right, how is everyone doing today? Good. All right, cool. Um, so I'm wearing a name tag here, and on it is my name and my personal pronouns. Now, um, it says Jack, because that's my name, and he, him, because that's the pronouns I identify with. Um, now, the reason why I think that having your pronouns and your name tag is so important is that there are people that do not feel comfortable in the pronouns that are given to, me, to them at birth. And it might be very hard to understand this as this is something that is be, something that has gotten bigger to the public as of recent, but um, it is something that has been happening for many and many, like for as long as time goes. And um, there are people, why we have our pronouns on our, I, why I think it's important to have our pronouns on our shirt and our name tag is because you might look at someone and assume that, oh, that's a guy, oh, that's a girl, but some people will not feel comfortable and do not feel as if they are that gender and because they are not. So um, my name is Jack Engelbrecht and I think everyone's gender deserves utmost respect. And I will be discussing uh, transgender rights um, I cannot speak from a personal experience or as a part of the LGBT community, but I feel very strongly upon this whole subject. And so, um, including people's, um, including trans people in our community is something that I think is very important because they are people just like all of us. And they just feel as if they need to be accepted just like all of us do. Um, so I'll be talking about three points. Um, perception of trans people in the US, accessibility to public places such as bathrooms and just everywhere, and also how can we help? How can we become allies and help these people um, feel more comfortable and accepted into today's society? Um, so the first point I'd like to talk about is that um, I think that trans people uh, are stigmatized and looked down upon negatively in society due to people's assumptions and people uh, uh, misunderstandings. Um, here's a quote or a fact. Um, a staggering 41% of respondents reported attempting, reported attempting suicide compared to the 1.6% of general population. That is saying 41% of trans people have thought of committing or tried to attempt suicide compared to the 1.6% percent of the general population. Respondents referring to transgender people. This fact is from the National Center of, for Transgender Equality, written by Jamie M. Grant and co-produced October 10th. Um, so um, this pe trans people are very looked up down upon because people don't understand. Um, and people just don't get this whole being transgender. Um, and in schools all around the U.S., there are youth, there are kids who grow up and feel as if they're um, trucks and they're um, uh, Legos and they're uh, Nerf guns and all those toys. They do not feel, they don't want to play with those. They, they, they don't feel like wearing t-shirt and shorts. They don't feel comfortable with all that masculine stuff and they realize this at a young age and their parents, their teachers, their friends, their brothers and sisters and all these people um, cannot accept them for who they are. And this is a problem that's happening in the U U.S. And um, from the Washington Post newspaper written by Katie Mettler on Ma March 13, 2016, there are schools in the U.S. that are transphobic and don't want to provide bathrooms for trans people. And I think this is a problem because people, they are just trying to use the bathroom and live their life day to day, but they cannot do that because of, because of how they were born, who they, how they are. Um, my second point is schools do not, do not raise enough awareness and transgen the transgender issue is not in the curriculum as I know and in most schools. Um, and there are, 
I already covered this, but there are schools in everyday life people cannot use the bathroom and people will be in public and be misgendered and get weird looks just for trying to fit in and feel comfortable with themselves. And from the Battle of the Bathroom, a communications um, journal article written by Michael Sh Shearer, that's a weird name, but on May 30th, 2016, discusses difficulty and hardships of bathroom use for the trans people in the US. Now, um, yeah, so my third my third point I want to talk about, I know I'm running low on time, but um, how, can we, how can we help solve this problem? How can we make this, um, how can we become allies and how can we help these individuals who are a minority in society? And I, I think there's really one way to do it and that is respect them. Respect their pronouns. When you meet that person, ask them. If you're unsure of what gender they, are just say, hey, what are your pronouns? That is so important because they will say, hi, I identify with he, she, or she, her, or he, him, or they, them, or whatever they say. So you just have to use those pronouns just to respect them because they are people just like all of us. And it, it is very hard um, for trans people in a community where, in other parts of the country where um, people do not accept them as much as they do here. And so the internet is a place where they f have a community and they feel safe. So that is a place um, uh, that they can feel comfortable. And from the journal S Critical Studies in Media Communication, the article, I Did It, All Online Transgender Identity and the Management of Everyday Life, published by Andre Cav Cavalante in March 2016, addresses that the internet is, helps transgender people and helps them find a community. And so wrapping this uh, presentation up, I just wanted to say um, I hope that you learned about the presumptions of trans people in the US and the accessibility to and the, um, the discrimination and the fact that they can't use public places like we can and feel comfortable with them and how we can help, how we can look at these people and even if they're different or dress differently or look differently, just accept them for who they are. Because they're people like us and they're not doing that t for anyone else. They're doing that for themselves and for them to feel comfortable being themselves. And I think that's very important. And so um, including transgender people in our society and making this world a better place for everyone is, I think, very important. And I think that trans is beautiful. So yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Who's next?